Freaky Friday. The sword in the stone. The sword. <laughs> it is the sword. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a mukbang. We have a lasagna. If you saw my previous video, it shows you like the process of how we made this lasagna. And then we just have a side of dumplings. The dumpling is a, was a ready pre-packaged. It was just a, in a frozen aisle in the Asian um, store. But then the sauce is basically just soy sauce water, sugar, uh, like a Asian pepper paste, and then sesame oil. And you just mix it up, and also green onion and cilantro. <laughs> That's it. Also, um, the AC is on, so if you can hear that, that's what it is. <laughs> oh yeah, this is my sister, <laughs> Lily. Hi. <laughs> yes, I'm Lily. She also has a YouTube. Oh, oh, yeah. Do you wanna? Uh, we'll link it down in the description. For now, I am still, I'm still on a journey of finding what kind of videos I'm gonna do. So. Yeah. Yeah. I also have my other sister over here, but she doesn't wanna, um, be. <laughs> she doesn't wanna be in the video, for now. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you get the red one? Oh my goodness. Go get the red one! It's so juicy! Go get the red spatula. It's not supposed to be this juicy. Did you guys take out the oil from the meat? No. Because you didn't think so. <laughs> it's still good anyway, so... You haven't even tasted it. <laughs> well, I know it will be good. Very first time we made a lasagna. Maybe because it was just so new. <laughs> no, I think the first time was pretty good. It was. I think this time it's just too oily. But it's fine. It's still good. The second time we made the lasagna, we used. Um, what is it called? You know the pasta? It was like pre. Or it was like the pasta where you don't need to um, boil it first and you just, you know, put it into the oven with the layers and stuff. I think the texture was like pretty rubbery. The pasta, the pasta was pretty rubbery. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't really like that one. You know, since Netflix got um, Avatar The Last Airbender on, we should check what air, I um, mean airbender, what elemental bender we are. <laughs> How do we do that? Like just, I believe um, BuzzFeed has one. Let's go BuzzFeed then. Also, have you guys seen The Last Airbender? It is really, really good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Netflix is going to make an adaption. They live. Adoption. Like a Netflix original? I think so. And I think they're just gonna follow like the animation. They're not gonna like, you know, make their own story. So like exactly like the animation? Probably. So then it's gonna be like a next season, you know, like episodes wise and all that too. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so we're three of us, we're gonna um do the BuzzFeed quiz. What kind of bender would you be if you were in Avatar? If you were in Avatar: The Last Airbender, I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> the first question says, "Who's your favorite Avatar? Who's your favorite Avatar: The Last Airbender character?" They better not like use this to choose our vendor. <laughs> okay, no, it always be like that. It's kind of like, oh, if I click that one, obviously it's gonna tell me this one. But it has other questions too, so. Oh wait, no, they have like um, 
Aang's uh, sad kick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honestly, <clears throat> my favorite would probably be Toph. Oh. She is so badass. <laughs> she is. <laughs> she created Metal Bending, y'all. My favorite is Aang. <laughs> I put Alpha. <laughs> I was gonna put Alpha too, but then I was like, he don't really do anything in the show, but he's cute. Yeah, I'm gonna choose Aang. Like we all chose like different ones, but our initial one was the same. I was gonna choose Alpha. <laughs> oh my god! <goodness>. Go. <laughs> Food is too good. <laughs> okay, top. Favorite. Avatar the last airbender creature? Creature? No, what? that's the flying bison. That's Alpha. <laughs> <now. laughs> oh my god. So the options are turtle dog, flying bison, winged lemur. Wait, I'm gonna search up. What's the turtle, turtle dog? Because I think I like the turtle dog. <laughs> okay. And then the eel hound, the badger mole. I don't know what that one is either. The art bark swap. Yeah, that's the last one. I was like, how do you pronounce <laughs> that? Oh my god. I probably don't know what character that is either. Look at them, they're so <clears throat> cute. I gotta say for me. Flying bison. Me too. <laughs> the turtle back. It's off of this time. The art bark swap is the I think it's the one that Toff trained with. You guys know how she's an earth and then she went to the cave. And then she learned to be an earthbender. Mm. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've watched The Last Airbender, so like my memories are not there. <clears throat> I was watching a YouTuber and they were like basically telling more about like the characters and because they read the comic. And so, really interesting. I forgot what their channel was. <laughs> Next question, how would your friend describe you? Chill, creative, down to earth, smart, intense, emotional. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Probably for me, it would be creative because like, you know, I draw a lot in front of them <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh are you probably smart mm, even smart. though i'm not smart like they just think i am actually i'm just a hard worker <laughs> maybe like down to earth well for me because i'm always telling them like oh you know be positive and i'm very optimistic a lot and i'm always like it's okay <laughs> and cheer them up and i'm like really funny so <laughs> um, I still don't know. I think maybe chill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can see that. <laughs> I think my friends would describe me as that. Yeah. Compared to all of that, all of the selections, I think chill for me. So. <clears throat> I got the next one. What's your favorite color? Obviously for me, it's blue. Mm, out of these, I don't know. I guess black. Is it really like, you know? Yeah. So they have red, blue, black, green, white, and yellow. Of course, mine would be green. <laughs> it's always been green ever since like elementary. Yeah. I mean, like green. I like green, but then I don't wear green <laughs> or like buy items that are green I, but i just i don't know it's weird it's just a favorite color but like i wouldn't buy stuff in green <laughs> like army green maybe yeah favorite season fall winter spring summer winter because <laughs> then i gotta stay warm under my in my bed i love my bed <laughs> Is it only winter because now it's summer and it's so hot? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, during winter, I was kind of like, wow, it's a little cold. Hmm, I wish it was warmer, but I still love it. <laughs> yeah. So, I like winter. I think I like fall. 
it's not really rainy it's not really cold it's not really hot kind of windy kind of windy but that's fine i hate <laughs> i hate windy days <laughs> i mean like Oh, like today? Today's pretty windy. <laughs> you see all the trees, like... <laughs> no, I don't know. I feel like windy windy days... I'd rather have windy days than like really hot, humid ones. Or like really cold and rainy ones. Yes. Really cold and rainy ones? Mm -hmm. I like... Yeah, me too. I just stay inside dry and even when you have to go out it's nice to like get back into like the dryness i like rain so i mean i like rain too like when you're driving in the rain and it, like you know <laughs> the little droplets on your window shield and then like the reflection of the light it look like christmas, <laughs> christmas. And you can't see anymore oh, okay. <laughs> well that's why you have the window wiper <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, mine's fall. What was yours again? Winter. Okay. You go, you go first. You go first. <clears throat> um, what kind of vendor? Oh yeah. <laughs> I got earth. Your element is earth. You're patient and steady like the earth beneath your feet. You're hardworking and won't let anyone or anything keep you from achieving your goals. Wow. That's pretty cool. That, that was that does describe you. <laughs> I don't know this is a personality test. You <laughs> <laughs> got two in one. Yeah. What kind of airbender would you be if you were in, uh, in the Avatar Last Ember? In Avatar, in Avatar the Last Airbender, you're the Avatar. <gasps> I'm the Avatar. Wow. But then. But then, like, I chose Aang in the first one, too, oh. so... And too, she chose, chose... Yeah. She cho chose a uh, Earthbender, too, so... I wonder. It says, congratulations. You're the master of all four elements. You're a well-rounded person with a good but intense heart. Woo. I think that described me pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Lily, you also chose Down to Earth. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's oh true. My God. And I chose chill. I got water. Your element is water. You're smart, gentle, and adept. You always think twice before acting and have a good memory. Oh, you you could that's pretty. Smart. That's pretty true. Well, in my opinion. I don't know if you heard that, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Okay, next. <laughs> oh my god. What Disney princess are you? Mm -hmm. We should guess what we're gonna get. Mm. Well, like, what are the options, though? Is what I wanna know first. True. Sure. I'm assuming all the ones they show over here. <laughs> mm. Same one. Are they gonna go personality wise? I have no idea. Me either. Maybe I'd get Belle. Why? Because she liked to read. Oh my god. I'm she, thinking. She got together with the bees. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I mean. You're gonna find the bees? I think for me, Rapunzel, because she's a painter. Oh. Mm. And like, Belle also talks to in inanimate objects. <laughs> Did you do that? <laughs> yes. Is that the tea here? <laughs> oh my god. Mm. I still don't know. For you? I don't know. Like Snow White for some reason. Yeah. I have no idea. Maybe it's because of your what? hair. <laughs> my hair? <laughs> or like maybe because she sings <clears throat> with animals. All of them sing. <laughs> Mm. Wait, wait, Lily, what did you say you think you're gonna get? Rapunzel? <laughs> Why? That's because they're sleeping beauty. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> because you sleep so much. Honestly, like, I don't even know what personality for her, like. I know. She was just, like, she just, She was just asleep she, most of the She was very <laughs> passive. Like, she just 
but went along with the story. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. Well, I, I mean, I haven't watched it for a while, so I don't remember either. But I don't really remember how she is. I guess no why. I don't know. She was a hopeless romantic. You saying I'm a hopeless romantic? Oh no. Oh. After that, I mean, after the fact that you uh, sleep a lot, <laughs> you have nothing in common. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not even the beauty part of the story. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I'm Snow White. I guess, yeah. <laughs> I think I'll be Snow White. Okay. okay. Anyways, what is your favorite Disney movie? Hunchback of Notre Dame. No Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. <laughs> Notre Dame. Robin Dame. Hood. Oh my god, I'm just kidding. Robin Hood. Arist Ar Aristocats. Aristocats. The Lion King. The Love Bug. Freaky Friday. The Sword in the Stone. The Sword. <laughs> it is the Sword. <laughs> They spelled it wrong. No, that's how you spelled it. <laughs> oh my god! Apparently, I don't know how to read or spell a sword. My mind was somewhere else, and then my mom was just reading the sword. <laughs> the sword. Oh my goodness! The sword in the stone. Lady and a Tramp or the Black Cadron? <laughs> Cadron. <Cauldron. laughs> <Cauldron. laughs> <laughs> you really are spoiling your dog to the world. Oh you guys, come down. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Which Good one night. do you think? Um, what is your favorite Disney movie? I don't even know. Uh, so probably the only ones I've seen on this list is Aristocats and The Lion King. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of these. What is cat? It was the the orange cat, right? And the yeah. white I cat with that. with three kids or something. Three kids. I really like the Aristocats. That's pretty good. I just remember a part where they're playing the piano. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I remember the part when they're on the train track. I think I can oh, remember. And also um, the part where um, I think the butler <clears throat> takes them away. Why do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't say no, I like that, but I remember. remember. That. <laughs> oh, and also the part where I don't know. I think there was a mouse that got a cookie and they're like uh, licking the cookie and they were eating it. <laughs> Oh my god, that sounds familiar. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember a lot of things about it. That was yeah, that weird. That don't sound appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess I'm gonna go with Lion King. Ooh. Mm. I like Lion King, but I don't know. Like it's Sparky. Yeah, I haven't watched it for a long time. And I don't really remember what happened, so. I watched the live action. Okay, I mean, now that I think about it, I do like Aristocrat. Cats. <laughs> I'm just remembering the whole storyline, and it had a really big impact on me. It was so long ago. I only watched it, like, once. Yeah. And I still remember the storyline. Mm hmm I think it was, um, the, the mother cat was single, and the, the stray cat, which was the orange cat, he loved her and her children. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's a very nice uh, life lesson. Yeah. Oh, and the old lady was um, the owner of the white cat. And she was um, like signing her will or like saying that after she passes away, um, all of her belongings belong to the cat. And so the butler was like, what the heck? I've been working for you. <laughs> and instead of giving me something, you're just going to give it all away yeah, to the cat. Yeah, I think I remember. Yeah, and so he kidnapped the cat. I mean, catnapped the cat. <laughs> yeah, so the movie wasn't really realistic. <laughs> <laughs> Within kindness, too. 
kind of is my, is my top. What about you? For passion, because like, you know, with passion comes a lot of stuff. Like it says a sense of adventure. With passion, you can go on adventure. Um, passion, bravery, like if you want to do something, you're going to step up your game, you know, and you'll do it. you're about it. Yeah. <laughs> like I want something to drive. <laughs> Stop. You don't even have your permit yet. I'm like, exactly. I want something to try. Um, you know? Yeah. So that's something that we can chase after. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of like chasing each other. Oh my God. <laughs> Choose a talking animal. A phoenix, bluebird, a mouse, <laughs> a meerkat. I don't know what that is. A warthog. I don't know what that is either. Animals can't talk. Oh no. no. <laughs> Cockatoo? What is that? A shark That's or a bird. Oh wait, a possum. I think I would say shark. Why? <laughs> because because <it's> <laughs> No, I know, but then like you know, so like you can hear them talking mm. and so you can stay away from them. Mm. Well you're smart. Yeah. I wanna finish because um you know, <laughs> uh, they're mythical creatures. I was about to say, like, you don't even see them often. <laughs> often, I don't see them at all. <laughs> oh my god. Probably a mouse. That's this girl. <laughs> She's a rat. Same thing. You re reasoning? So cute. cute? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, if you have mouse in your house, and you just you just hear them talking. <laughs> You're gonna be like, I don't know if that's the mouse. Oh yeah, or if that's something else haunting me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like they can just scare me out of the house and they can have it for themselves. <laughs> yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you guys think you too hard. They're so cute. What is it? <laughs> a cockatoo. <laughs> what do you like to do with your time off? Go camping? Just get out of town? Get together with my family? Lie around? I'm always working? Play video games? Burn the candles at both ends? LARP? What is that? A uh, real action role-playing live action role-playing yeah go or go to the beach mm -hmm. Ryan, Ryan. <laughs> you do that already mm -hmm. exactly Seth, what do you like to oh do yeah what do you like to do with your time off <laughs> what do you think what do you want to do um, on your time off no but what do you like to do like you know do you like lying around when you have time off Okay. <laughs> I don't. I, I, I don't know. I kind of feel like anxious. I... Yeah. Like, I have so many things to do. <laughs> kind of anxious. And then yeah. you're like, but I'm just laying here doing nothing. <laughs> I need to get... I need to do stuff. Well, I mean, like, if you had nothing to do. Mm, that's true. Because they said your time off. I'll be like, there must be something that I forgot about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would do that. I mean, I do that too. I knocked out. <laughs> um... Okay, um... I don't know, I mean, I'm, I'm in between just get out of town or go to the beach. I love the beach. Then just get out of town because out of town could still be the beach. That's true. But then, like, I don't really just go out of town for, like, nothing. Like, what do I, what do, I do when I get out of town? I don't know. Mall? Visiting another oh. visit Visiting another mall. That's... Yeah, and they will mm. lie around. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Visiting another mall, that would be like planned. You know, like I planned that with my friends, or I planned that with you guys. Oh, going to the beach, the same thing. Or get together with my family. I think get together with my family, because then that that kind of means like you just go into their room and you talk, right? Oh yeah. So I think get together with my family. I stay in my room and you guys come to me. <laughs> <laughs> I lie around. Me too. This is really long. What is the secret to true love? Mm. Humor, understanding, 
I'll know when I find it. Faith, compassion, acceptance, Ooh. communication, chemistry, or equality. Ooh. I don't know. I feel like understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Communication can be one thing, but understanding is another thing. <laughs> Like, you guys do communicate well, but if you guys don't understand each other, then that's it, a deal breaker. Yeah, then communication Means is meaningless. No. What about you? <coughs> I'll know when I find it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just understanding. Where do you like to have your first date? Movie theater, a bar, a club? A park, the zoo, coffee shop, a restaurant. I don't have time today. <laughs> or a museum. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna choose the park. Oh. Yeah, I like the park too because then you don't have to like spend money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But also, where are you gonna get food? Where are you gonna get food? You're gonna get in their car, maybe get kidnapped, and then get food. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, like, it's normal to just kidnap them and then get food together. Like, yeah. You gotta, like, you know. Well, unless you guys, like, go drive to a different place. Oh, you just bring separately. your own lunch. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm, so, like, picnic. Pick an artist. Lord, Imagine Dragon. Miley Cyrus, Katy Perry, Miles Davis, Randy Newman, Drake, Bruno Mars, or uh, Avicii. Avicii. Mm. I think I'm gonna go with Bruno Mars because his voice is really nice. He, his, the type of songs that he makes are really like nostalgic, and they're like they have the older vibes, you know. Mm -hmm. And I like that. Um. He was in my childhood, of course. <laughs> I think I'm gonna choose Katy Perry. I like her songs. Yeah, Katy Perry. What is happily ever after? Having good friends and finding my equal in achieving my dreams in a job I love in a caring relationship in a castle in finding inner peace. I'm not sure, but it isn't what is happening now. <laughs> and after tea. <laughs> Uh, the adventure continues. The adventure continues. Yeah, in my opinion. I think the adventure continue. Like there is never gonna be an ending. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Until the end, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, which Disney princess are you? I got Mulan. I'm outgoing and vivacious. Um, I'm considered the sporty one in the group. However, athletics are not the sum total of who I am, as I have a keen interest in the world around me. I got the same thing. <gasps> me too! Oh my god! We're all Mulan! We're all fun Mulan! <laughs> I just don't feel like it really, um, describes me. I'm not, yeah. I'm not the sporty one in my friend group. Me neither. Oh, well, like, here between us, you're the sporty one. <laughs> Outgoing and vivacious. What's vivacious? Like lively. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you are outgoing and vivacious, but we're not, so I don't know what they're trying to tell us. Oh my god. <laughs> between um, all of us, I would feel like we're pretty outgoing and vivacious within the family. Within the family, yeah. <laughs> like if we, ask, <laughs> if we act around like family. With our friends. Yeah, with our friends. Like, uh -huh. yeah. Then people would probably see us as more like, outgoing. Uh, probably. We're just really, really shy. <laughs> we're just really shy and quiet people, but with family, we're like really loud and. Yeah. Okay. So, that's the end of this video. We're done eating. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye. Bye.